Now to a story you'll see only on 10, a shocking development out of Isle of Wight County. It has to do with the petition to remove a school board member accused of sending racist jokes. Then on your side, Andy Fox has been following this story from the very beginning. He joins us now with what's going on. Andy? Nicole and Tom, on Monday I reported the petitions did not have enough registered voter signatures living in the appropriate district, that you could not move forward without them. And that's exactly what's happened today. Finding out the petition to recall school board member Herb DeGroff failed to include the required number of signatures, we said this on Monday to Assistant Commonwealth's Attorney Susan Walton. Because at some point, you can't move forward without the right number of registered voters on the petition. That's true, so that's why you got to give us an opportunity to do our job. Doing her job. Walton has to ask the court to dismiss the case against DeGroft because the court does not have jurisdiction due to the lack of registered voters on the petition required by the Virginia State Code. Walton asked the petition with the original signatures be returned to the NAACP's Dottie Harris. She told us Monday and today she will get additional signatures to get the required number and then refile the petition against DeGroff. We stand until it's over. We'll stand until it's over. We're not, we're not turning it back yeah. at this point. But here's the reality check. County Supervisor Byron Bailey is in court on August 12th for a recall and removal from office hearing for sending the same questionable emails as DeGroff. If the Commonwealth's attorney finds there is not enough evidence to proceed to remove Bailey from office, or if the judge decides there isn't enough evidence, then the case against Bailey will be dropped too. And whatever happens with Bailey will likely happen, and exactly what will happen, to DeGroff, the same thing. If a new petition is filed against DeGroff, then the same thing would happen with DeGroff as well. We'll keep you updated on the story in the newsroom. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.